<laughs> Is he up there? Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Oh. Mr. Hollywood! Well, you can't just yell at him. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> you gotta slap him around a little bit. <laughs> Or made up everything there is to know about you. <laughs> so you are some big Hollywood producer come here to resurrect my career. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. You don't want anybody to know so that you don't get my hopes up, but <laughs> don't worry about that, Mr. Hollywood. I'm a full grown woman in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Can you feel it? Um. Oh, good! You can't feel anything, can you? Oh. <laughs> okay, now, <clears throat> we begin, as with all great acts of creation, in darkness. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>
grave danger? Yes. I said danger. Cut to interior, government bureau of rockets. Daytime. Well, here's the damn chair. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> You wanted to talk to me about danger, Captain? Yes, Rocket Pussy! We need you! <laughs> but I told you, I'm not Rocket Pussy anymore! I'm a midget! I'm not a figment of your imagination, Colonel! I'm a real person with real feelings. And there's nothing we can do to convince you, Rocket Pussy! <laughs> Dramatic irony. Oh. <laughs> oh, there wouldn't even be a movie if she didn't do it, you know. You're fun. Come on. Uh, oh. Cut to exterior rocket launch pad. Daytime. Rocket Pussy is wearing her signature form fit and flat suit. She's the most desirable <laughs> goddess to ever grace the screen. <laughs> Yeah. 
air rapidly approaching the lush tropical setting of Danger Robot Island. She checks the radar, radar screen. Oh, we should be at that island soon now. That robot monster should be around here somewhere. Just then, <laughs> no. the green jungle below, the evil robot monster rising. <gasps> Jungle below, the evil robot monster rising. Another ah. <laughs> bubble. <laughs> Mama, come on! I'm 17. We go. Mama, pay attention. We are doing return to rocket pussy. Come back. What kind of name is that? <laughs> It's a sequel, Mama, and you've got to make that clear in the title. Now pay attention. <laughs> We're getting to the good part now. You having fun, Mr. Hollywood? <laughs> good, okay. Quiet on the set. And action. Come on, Mama. I am a robot. <laughs> I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a robot. Uh, you know what? This is really insensitive. Hush up. <laughs> Hush up, you robot monster. I'm going to blow you to bits. The hell you are. I'm going to blow your big old ass up. Oh, oh, it's just pretend. Jake's Mama, I mean Rocket Pussy and the robot monster enter into an epic struggle for world domination. They fire shots back and forth, missing each other completely for an incredible 17 minutes of flying battle sequences. During which time, Rocket Pussy's breasts look luscious and ripe and jiggle themselves in every which way you can imagine. Finally, Rocket Pussy launches her biggest and most dangerous rocket of the Oh. Here goes nothing!
Oh, I think I'm gonna be. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, oh, go down that way. You can't miss it. Just, just right over the garbage pile. Where else? Pile. Oh. <laughs> oh, he hated it. Oh no, Mama, he didn't. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I think he really liked it. Oh. Well, you never can tell with them Hollywood types. They're always so calm and collected. <laughs> oh, Mama, look at my nerves. Mama, look at my nerves. Oh, sleep is still safe, Mama. Sleep is still safe. Oh, James, it is too early for that. Oh, for my nerves, Mama. Sleep is still safe. Sleep is still for my nerves. Look at her nerves. Oh. Okay, all right. Well, I think this is the exciting part. <laughs> Waiting for the first reviews to come in. I want my pecan sand. Where's my pecan sand? Oh, look, Mama. Something shiny. Something shiny. Woo. Yeah. Oh, wow. What's that doing so low? Maybe he's doing one of my correspondence courses in there. Which one do you want? Dramatic criticism. Don't. He's got Oh, I can't stand waiting. I, I just can't take not knowing. I mean, to fail in life once is forgivable. But to fail twice is to... Did I hear you doing Sleepy Seal Z out here? Oh, yeah. Like the commercial? Mm -hmm. Is that what you shoved down my throat? Well, it is America's number one doctor recommended. Enough! <laughs> you trapped me. You held me captive. You, 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 you forced me to pitch your goddamn movie at me. <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> oh, no. I expected to swoop in here and maybe Take a few shitty pictures, write some shitty article. Maybe, Wait a minute, I don't understand this. Even take something with me to prove I was really here. Well, uh, hold on. Aren't you some big Hollywood producer? No, I'm not. No, he isn't, James. Well, who are you then? <coughs> He's a writer, James. <gasps> How awful. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else in this world. Oh, that's right. I'm a nobody. No, I'm worse than goddamn nobody. I'm the scum of the earth. I'm a fucking internet blogger. Slipping <laughs> from page click to page click. Degrading myself for advertising cents on the dollar. I'm a bottom feeder, all right. But you, Jinx Malibu, oh, you are the absolute and utter bottom. You're a joke. You're worse than a joke. You're, you're a punchline. You know, people barely even remember you. People already assume you're dead. Well, what'd you think of my movie, Mr. Hollywood? Yeah. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hated it! Oh, Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, you better believe I'm serious. Yeah. Return to Rocket Pussy Comeback is hands down the most insane, delusional pile of shit I have been forced to sit through in my entire goddamn life. Sleepy Seals Eve, Mama. Uh, Sleepy Seals Eve. Well, <laughs> I believe I should see what I can about getting Mr. Hollywood right the fuck on back to Hollywood! Oh. California! Oh. 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 I'm sorry. 
sorry. I, maybe I went a little too far. I really am a big fan. <laughs> Those were horrible things to say. Uh -huh. I'm very, very... <laughs> Did she just... Yep. It's about that time. <laughs> if you don't mind, I think I am liable to... <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi. So. So. I, I guess it's just us. I guess. Say, um, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Well, do you mind if I give you a personal answer? Huh? <laughs> How old are you exactly? Oh, that's an easy one. I'm 12. 12 what? 12 years old. Are you quite sure? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> anyway, that's what the cake always says when it reads my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> like how Mama's always says she's 29. And how many times have you turned 12? Honestly, I lost count about six or seven ago. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Can I ask you something personal now? Well, it only seems fair. You really didn't like my mama's movie? I think it uh, needs development. Uh -huh. You want to know something? What? I don't like my mama's movies either. You want to know something? What? No one does. <laughs> hey, besides, it doesn't matter what I think. I don't even make movies. Just mean pictures on the internet. Just mean pictures on the internet. And don't forget about Twitter. Oh, don't <laughs> tell me you've never heard of Twitter. Is that like a murmur? <coughs> I already got one of those. No, uh, Twitter, it's, it's, like, uh, it's like a place on the internet. The internet! Where people Everybody go keeps talking and about this internet. describe their feelings. Show me! Well, there's like, no surface up here, and uh, but you can look through the history at least, <laughs> and you just use your finger to scroll down like this. Like a scroll? <laughs> yeah, very much so. And these are all real people out there? Well, most of them. Some of them are robots. Robots? No, not like real <laughs> robots. Like ad campaigns, Viagra, Nigerian banking schemes, that sort of thing. <laughs> wow. And the ones that are real people? Wow. I bet you must get together all the time and have the most amazing conversations. <laughs> no, not really. Well, is there a time? Once a year, where y'all get together and shake hands? No, that would or be maybe, a disaster. Well, maybe it's just enough for everyone to know that they're connected, you know? I'm over here, you're over there. Gosh, look, at Hollywood Hunks is all the way in Venice Beach Whoa, right there. Hey, that's right. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's all the comfort that we need. To know there's a bigger world out there and to feel like we're all tied together in some way. In a big web, if nowhere else. Honestly, like 99% of them are strangers. Well, I bet you know the other 1% of them just like the back of your hand. You know, we're close. I bet you know them a lot better than you think you do. I never met a stranger before in my whole entire life until you, and I feel like I can already see right inside your big old heart, Mr. Hollywood. Ooh. Never met a stranger before? Oh no! No, I'm not allowed outside the house. Not till I'm 13. No. <laughs> Wait, you mean you've never been outside? Gosh, no. No, it's not safe out there for someone like me. I heard all mama's stories. Everywhere you go, there's someone else trying to take your picture. Trying to make you take your top off so they can film it. <laughs> well, that's only half true, I promise you. <laughs> there's a, a lot of other people out there. Good and bad. Really? Really? Haven't you ever 
thought about leaving. Can I trust you, Mr. Hollywood? Are you one of the good ones or are you one of those bad ones? I'm one of the good ones, I swear. <laughs> I knew it. All the time, I think about leaving this place, Mr. Hollywood. Every second of every day. And sooner or later, I'm gonna. My daddy wrote me this letter once. He wrote it from far away, and he took the time to commit his words to Paige just for me, his only daughter. Back then, he was working at a top secret observatory in an undeclosed location in the Arizona desert. And his whole job was just to watch the stars to see if anything ever changed or went wrong. Nothing ever did, he said. At least not while he was there, nothing ever did. For my birthday that year, he sent me this here thing in the mail. He said it was official top secret equipment, but I've seen them for sale in the Walmart circulars. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Thing still works, and well, it's the thought that counts. He said he hoped I could use it at night sometimes before I fell asleep so that I could see what he was seeing and vice versa. He said I should try sometimes to look out past the stars, mm -hmm. out into the empty spaces in between them. Deep in that darkness, he said, lies a time before time. Before me or you ever existed. Before Rocket Pussy. Before Mama. <clears throat> before there was ever any such thing as stars. In that time before time, he said, everything's still connected. We're all still just bound up in this tight knot waiting to explode forth and be born. Mm -hmm. In that time before time, he said, we are all still one. And since we can't be together here and now, well, at least we can be together then and there, you know? One of these days, I am going to leave this place, Mr. Hollywood. You mark my word. And I'm going to find him. And I'm going to meet him eye to eye and handshake to handshake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until then, I'm at least happy to know that we're still connected. Even if it's just an empty space. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I explained Twitter all that well. <laughs> <laughs> I think you explained it quite elegantly. <laughs> well, thank you. And, um, I think you're very interesting. Interesting? Handsome. Oh, Mr. Hollywood. Sure, you remind me of a buddy of mine from college. You mm -hmm. really think I'm beautiful? Handsome. <laughs> you really think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Hollywood. I don't know how to name all these feelings coursing through my body. I think, I think, I think. I'm in love! Oh, that's not right. I like the way this is going. Oh, but why not, Mr. Hollywood? Yeah, I'm afraid I'm not the guy for you. But you say... No, we wouldn't go together. But handsome! We'd be like butter and glue. Like lunch! Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, there's just no future oh, for you and me. I'm sorry to break the heart of such a... Beautiful? Handsome young oh. girl. But no, 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 no. Not, not in all the... The time before time. <laughs> oh, I see, Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> you probably got all sorts of handsome Beautiful. Hollywood starlets lining up around the block doing a date with you. I understand if you don't like me. On account I'm not some glamorous Hollywood <laughs> rocket pussy. <laughs> 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 it couldn't be further from the truth. I don't like you because I'm gay. Gay? <laughs> What's gay? Christ. Okay. <laughs> gay is when one man and another man love each other very much. <laughs> And they want to give each other sort of a special hug, and they want to get married and file their taxes. <laughs> I never heard such a thing 
is that? Is your Hollywood? Oh, sure you have, sure you have. They go by lots of different names. Um, homosexuals, does that ring any bells? Uh-huh. Um, fruits? Nope. Fairies? What's that now? Fudgecracker. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Faggots. Faggots! You mean gay like faggots? Well, why don't you just say so, Mr. Hollywood? Mama keeps them as pets. <laughs> well, she used to until they either died or got serious. Something to do with weak hearts. Oh, but I don't care what you are, Mr. Hollywood. We can still get married and you can take me away from here. <gasps> Oh, 
<laughs> you, my hideous daughter. That's right. I said hideous. Because whatever is going on up here <laughs> isn't normal. <laughs> <laughs> Lou 
Ski is your real daddy smudge. Oh. 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 Uh, <laughs> all them letters are all made up. <laughs> Every other mama made them all up. Well, uh, oh, it was only a matter of time before you figured it out for yourself. Well, look, he's my brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're my brother. <laughs> if anyone asks, yeah. Oh my God. That's why you never came back. That's why you disappeared. That's why nobody knows about because your daughter is the daughter of you. There was a time, Mr. Hollywood, when no man could resist me. You see, I know a thing or two about being beautiful. <laughs> oh, no. oh God, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna be a woman. He sure does get sick a lot, doesn't he? He ought to get that checked out. You might as well. <laughs> Go on. Take all of them pills, Mom. Oh, the whole no. goddamn life test plan. No! 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 Go ahead, Mother. Get some fucking water here, Mama! Sad, isn't it? 
when a beloved actress abandons the eye of her adoring public? Oh, flowers for me? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. But one can only make titty movies for so long. <laughs> Before all the wealth and glamour in the world just start to lose its charm. Oh, an engagement proposal for me? Oh, you charming devil. And then you start to question your life and the choices you made and the things you've done and how you treated people. And that's when you realize that the way before you is just a long, dark hallway. Total darkness. Pitch black. You can't even see your own fingertips in front of you. And you hear the voices of the people that you love. And they're calling out to you from all around. Hello? Is anybody there? And they're going, Jeans, look over here! Jeans, this way! I just want you to stop and look back. But when you do, you realize that the way behind you is just as cold and dark and just as empty as the way ahead. And so you just stop dead in your tracks. You're paralyzed. You just freeze. Because they won't stop taking your picture and there's nowhere to run to. There's nowhere to save. And so you just stay right where you are. And you wait to fade to black. You just wait to fade to black. Because you want to fade. Come on, brother. Come on. Do I know you? You are a handsome boy. Oh. 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 Are you uh, escorting me to my big premiere? Because I just filmed my final movie. Are you sure I don't know you? Because you look awful familiar. Safe. Oh God, what I miss. Mr. Hollywood, can I ask a favor of you? I should warn you I'm not in a very trusting place right now. <laughs> if it wouldn't be too much trouble. Could you take my granddaughter with you when you go? When you're free to leave, that is. Okay, uh, where do you want me to take her? As far away from here as you can get. She's going to go and she's going to fight her father. They are going to look each other in the eye something. <laughs> I don't have a lot to offer you, but I'm sure there's a jar of pennies around here somewhere and it's got your name on it. What's in the envelope? No, no money ever. <laughs> it is enough for her to pay her own way. And that's all you need to know, okay? Okay. 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 Um, where's Jinx? Oh, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it might be kind of hard to pick her out. Oh. I mean, what with all this trash walking around? But I didn't even get a picture of her. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, fuck! Tree's gone. Excuse me? <laughs> Tree's gone? Well, the fuck him. You're wet. Well, I guess it's time. 
Okay, um, well, uh, well, it's been, uh, um, uh, tell Jinx I, um, mm -hmm. thank you for your... Let's go. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm You're ready. Following. I don't know if I'm Get ready. Get the fuck out of here. Go find a real daddy. Lukies. Oh. Other mama. Go on now, kid. Hello, baby girl. Won't you know all? But I'm scared. Good. Hmm. You're gonna need it. Come on, the, the sooner we hit the road, the sooner we can put this all behind us. Honey. I want to try and remember it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Funny. You know? With you standing there like that, with those tears in your eyes, you've got a quality I think a lot of men might find attractive. Really? <laughs> yeah, just like your mother. Go for it. Have you ever posed for pictures before? Uh -huh. Oh, I understand it's really pretty easy. Out into the storm. <laughs> Are you ready? Do you feel like you're flying? Three rocket pussy. <laughs> Two, Two rocket, rocket pussy. pussy. One, One rocket, rocket pussy. pussy. letters no more. No? Oh. Maybe she'll write to us now. Really, we do depend on 
uh, donations for a large part of our budget, as all theaters do. Um, and uh, this has been a beautiful weekend. I have to stop and say some big thank yous, A, to my cast. Who yeah. are Um, but I want to also thank Derek Van Barham, who was our director, who was here last night, couldn't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. Julie Leghorn, our director. Um, here, Corey's here. Well, um, hey, our lighting designer, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to start around here. Derek uh, Shoemaker. Shoemaker Arts. Our uh, board member and number one fan. So, anyway, thank you so much. You have made this a so beautiful much. closing night. Meet us at the bar for a minute, and then we got to get back here and throw this trash away. <laughs>